Welcome. This is Carrie Shell from On Point Quilter. I was inspired by the tree that I could see outside my kitchen window. And I used that as inspiration for creating this photo quilt that I'm entitling View from My Window. To get started, I'm going to import a few pictures that I took on my camera. The fastest way to do a group of those is to go to Libraries, Photo Library, and then select Import from Image Files. You're going to want to navigate to wherever you saved those photos you took. And I put mine under my EQ8 images and in a folder that I called View from My Window. And so I'm going to do a Control or a Command plus the A key to select them all and select Open. And then I'm going to do a Select All Photos and Add to Sketchbook and close. Now I need to resize and crop these so that they can fit into my window view. So I'm going to view the project sketchbook, go to photos, and I'm going to select the first photo and do an edit to image work table. We're going to end up cropping the images to eight by eight so that they can be printed on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper that is covered with fabric. I will start by resizing the really big image. So select resize image and select the lower of the width and height and change the, that to nine and select OK. Select crop and change the width and height to eight inches which is the desired size, and center on the picture to pick up the piece that is most appealing to include. Then select Apply Crop, followed by Add to Project mm -hmm. Sketchbook. View the Project Sketchbook, and then select the next photo and select Edit to Image Work Table. Repeat the process to create an 8 by 8 cropped image from each of the photos that you would like to use in the quilt. Mm -hmm. View the project sketchbook and on the photos tab we're going to select each of the larger photos and select delete. We really don't want them cluttering up the size of our file. Then we will take each of the cropped photos, select it, and select Copy to Fabric. Close the project sketchbook. Select the block work table and select a new block pieced Easy Draw block. We're going to set the block width and height a half inch less than the photo size because we want to be able to have seam allowances. So I'm going to change the block width and height to 7.5 by 7.5. Set the snaps at 4 by 4 and snapping options just snap to grid. Select the grid tool and change the columns and rows to 2 by 2 and drag a grid from the upper left corner to the lower right corner. That's going to allow us to find the center. The window sashing will need to be set at a half inch so that I can use the quarter inch seam allowances in subdividing the photo. Since the centering line is at three and three quarters, that means we will draw lines at three and a half and four inches. To have snap points that allow me to do that, I need to set them every half inch. So I will multiply the 7.5 times 2, which means my snaps need to be at 15 by 15. Then with the line tool, I'm going to draw horizontal and vertical lines at 3.5 and, and 4 inches. Once I have them drawn, I'm going to use the pick tool and delete the lines in the middle. Then go to the color tab, back to draw, and with the pick tool, delete the short vertical segments. That's going to make it easier to piece. Select the color tab. The fabrics converted to photos will be at the end. 
select the first one and click on the four large spaces in the quilt. This will give us a very close approximation of what our final picture will look like. Select a fabric or color to color the sashing. And select Add to Project Sketchbook. Repeat the process with the three other photos. Now let's work on the quilt. Select the quilt work table and select a new quilt horizontal. Go to the Layout tab and change the number of blocks to 2 by 2. Change the size of the block to 7.5 by 7.5. Set the sashing at 1 inch. Turn on Include Sash Border. Select the Border tab and change border number 1 to be a 2 inch long horizontal. Select Add and select the style Mitered. This is going to be a binding, so let's change the size to a quarter inch. Select the Design tab and under Block Tools Set Block, notice that our blocks are at the back. However, we are only seeing two colorings. That is because we have stacked our colorings, and so to see the additional colorings, we can select a block, we can right click, and we can select coloring. Now we can see that we have three colorings under there, one of them being the blank one. I'm going to take the top one and I am going to select split coloring. Now I'm going to take that last block and do the same thing. I'm going to right click, do a select coloring, and I'm going to take the last one, right click, and do a split coloring. So now we can see all four of the colorings of the block. Now we can go ahead and click on each of the colorings and click on one of the workspaces. Because of the way that we did the sizing, everything should look exactly like the blocks that we drafted. Then select the fabric tools and color the sashing, cornerstones, and borders, and select Add to Project Sketchbook. When cutting the photos for our quilt, we're going to want to start by cutting each of the photos to equal 8 by 8, and then we're going to cross-cut them into four pieces that are 4 by 4. That would be the size required if we printed rotary cutting charts for each of the blocks. Let me share with you an easy way to print each of the cropped images at 8x8. View the image work table and select Print and Export followed by Photo Layout. Now for each of the photos, they'll need to be on separate sheets, but we can select it and drag it on the photo layout. And then we can position it, and then we can select File Print, and we can send it to our printer. Make sure to print on fabric that has been backed by paper. If the weather is good, go out and take a few snapshots from your own neighborhood and incorporate them in a quilt. I would love to see pictures of your work, and I have created a post in the Learning EQ Facebook group if you'd like to share your work with us. Thanks so much, and have a wonderful weekend.